Hey, it's Ashley here from Mad Lemmings, and I just want to show you a quick walkthrough and tutorial of the Thrive Content Builder. This has been around for a while now, and I thought I'd give you a detailed, in-depth look at the different features that are available on this tool now, because it's really cool. And it's a great way to build your content and your web pages, especially if you don't have any technical ability. Or if you do, you can do it even faster with this kind of tool. Now this is what it looks like here. On the right hand side you have all the elements you can add to the page. But I just want to compare that quickly with a standard WordPress page, which is like this, where you type in your content and then you add in your pictures here, like this, and then you insert them in here and it adds them in. And then in order to see what this looks like, you of course have to press the preview button. Let's do that again. And there's your preview. So you need to edit everything, move it around, try it, add the elements, add the contact form, whatever you're doing to your page, and then you need to test it, save it, preview it, jump back and forth. But when you're using Thrive, you actually create things as you see them using the editor. And this is called a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. So here I have the same post, but without the content and it's automatically got the header and so forth as it's going to look in the final version and the social media share buttons and the sidebar. But what we can do is we can start creating content straight away. So I can add some text and that's added a block in here. And as you see, if I hover over it, it has the Thrive uh, elements here. The green one is the copy. You can make a copy. And the red one here is the delete. And that's on every element the same. So now I can start writing my content as you would with any normal blog post, normal blog post content in here. And you can make new paragraphs and keep going or within the same one, you can continue the paragraph. It's up to you. And then you can also make specific WordPress content and edit that in here and you get a WordPress editor then. So if you're happier in the WordPress editor for your content, you can do that in here and add WordPress element style content. So I'll just type in here, test content, and then we put in an image and see what that looks like. And as you can see, it's more or less the same as it looked in, in the other one, but it's better obviously to use the editor here. You can add an image in here, same kind of thing. You can add an image directly and there you have the image in a row here. You can also move elements up and down. You see the little green line there appearing. So you can drop it in between elements, above elements, below elements. So I can move the image then. I can align the image into the middle or with no alignment left and right. You can change whether you have a border, a caption, an alt text, all of the things you would normally do in WordPress you can do here straight from the editor. And what's really cool with images is that you can also change the size on the fly to exactly the size you want, or even change the image. If you don't like the image, we can put a different one in there and continue, move it to the top and drop it to the top. So as you can see, it's very flexible. It's very easy. And actually there on the left, you're seeing my hover buttons. They're slightly over the content because of this sidebar editing area when you actually do the final version that won't be the case that's just my sharing icon so don't worry about that too much and let's have a look at some of the other content you can add so you can basically make a whole blog post here but that's maybe not so exciting what's really cool about thrive is that you can build pages you can build really sexy looking pages professional high quality pages using some of the elements that they automatically have built in here. For example, let's just get rid of that image, make it a bit easier to see. Let's drop in a pricing table here, a three column pricing table. So here you go, it's automatically styled. We can change this red if we don't like the red. You click towards the edge here to get the whole content. And then you say, okay, let's not go with a red, let's go with a more green look and so forth. And you can change it to your look and feel very easily. So if you're selling three levels of services or products, you can add in here all the elements. You've got bullet points, headings. You can change the font. You can change the size, the alignment, the bold, anything you would normally be doing in WordPress. But you're editing 
on the fly as you go along and it's really easy to basically make exactly what you want to see here the size the layout so let's have a look at some other elements that we can add in here you can add in for example uh, Google map if you wanted to have a page with your contact details and where you're located so let's get an embed code of New York for example so let's take the embed code and then we throw that into the map So then you automatically get the map and again you can change the padding here if we don't like the padding we can go in and remove the padding so let's remove the padding on the top and change the alignment move its location and so on it's very very easy to do so let's add another kind of element here just to give you an idea of what's possible for example you can add in content boxes of varying styles As you can see, there's different kinds of content. You can have headings, you can have green boxes. I've used the green color earlier on, so it's using green all the time. We can switch the color. And some other cool things, you can do Twitter quotes here. So click to tweet. You can add in all of your uh, text here. And then when you actually preview this, when you click to tweet it's actually that's the post here and that's the text I've put in here so you can do some really cool stuff with click to tweet buttons what else have we got in here you can do a testimonial so let's just clean this up so you can add in different styles of testimonial put in the picture the name of the person the quote the things you want to actually put in there there's tons of different testimonials with and without pictures you can have different kinds of lists so you can have bullet point lists or lists with light bulbs they've got all of those in here automatically you can put in a call to action so here you can get someone to sign up to your uh, email list automatically you can put in tables can put in countdown timers so if you have a an event that's taking place or so forth you can actually do that in here and it will count down they've got a couple of different uh, styles of that what else do we have you can have a grid of different posts and then you can embed all of your current posts in there so you can see all my latest posts appearing and you can edit all of that stuff so it's really fantastic you can create pages of full width so we can have one without the sidebar here and the other really cool feature which I'll do with uh, another new page let's make a new page and then let's actually make a thrive landing page so when you get the content builder you also get access to all these landing pages so you can actually make your sales pages, your opt-in pages, your product pages, all of these kinds of things in here. And you can choose from the many different templates they have. And you can click up here to filter if you want to do it that way. And then you automatically get that template loaded in. And it uses the same content builder here. So this is a proven high converting opt-in page. And then you can change all of the elements in here move them around drag and drop them if you're not happy but obviously it's a very nice template so you don't want to ruin it too much but it's got the testimonial the headings the images all of that laid out for you automatically and they have tons of different templates here you can choose another one let's take this one over here just to show you the difference and then you can have that as your landing pages instead of using a product like optimize press or lead pages this is a Thanks for signing up. They have them all, all the different ones in here. So not only do you get a page builder and a post builder with some really awesome elements and easy to edit using really stylish stuff, you also get a landing page builder. So all of this for only 59 bucks, it's fantastic. I use it for all my different websites as well as the Thrive Leads plugin, which is something different again, which is used for getting leads. You can see that in a 
different video or tutorial I have, but this is definitely worth your money and, and something that I recommend to all my customers and will pay for any developer you would hire over and over again for just 59 bucks. Puts the power in your hands and is an amazing tool. And they keep adding stuff. They've just added this blog post element that I just showed you that's been added recently. They've sped up the loading, so they've done that also. They're constantly adding new things. The team is amazing and they're always on the ball and, and doing the latest stuff. So I recommend you take a look. Click on the link below the video in the uh, description area and you can take a look at Thrive Content Builder, one of the best tools out there. Thanks for listening.